Hello and welcome everybody. My name's Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. Thank you for joining me today for the Scorpio January 2022 horoscope. Well, there are a few things happening this month and you're starting the month with your co-ruling planets, Mars and Jupiter. Uh, they're in your second and, third, sorry, Mars and Pluto. Duh. Uh, they're in your second and third houses, okay? So there's going to be a big push to do with your money uh, this month and, and probably money will, remi will remain a key feature of 2022. Pluto, of course, is the planet of life, death and rebirth and uh, a new cycle could begin for you. Okay, some other things happening. Uh, Mercury retrograde uh, from the 14th to the 3rd of February plus or minus a few days either side in the shadow period uh, and this is in your fourth and fifth houses of home and family creativity romance and the world of the child it's not the best time to sign agreements or to start new things but it is a great time to finish things that you haven't uh, completed things that have been hanging around for a while uh, the other thing um, with Mercury retrograde is do be careful with miscommunications because things can go awry very easily under Mercury retrograde. Uh, there's another little weird thing. It's not really astrologically significant, but it is unusual. And that is uh, all of those people in Western Canada, the US, Mexico and South America and the Western side of those continents, countries, uh, I experienced a thing called the black moon. A black moon is simply two new moons in the same calendar month. Uh, UK, um, Australia, New Zealand and some South Pacific islands are not experiencing this because our new moon falls on the 1st of February. Okay, But it just means a new beginning in whatever house it falls for you. Uh, we'll come to that uh, when I do your horoscope in depth. Uh, so yeah every 32 months so Venus is retrograde to the 29th I'll talk about that uh, and uh, just to briefly explain what I do draw two tarot cards as theme cards for the month for you uh, then I'll have a look at your horoscope in depth and I'll do a psychic channeling at the end so stick around for that okay if you're new please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell right now <laughs> thank you very much Alrighty, Happy New Year and Merry Christmas if you celebrate it, by the way. Let's go to the board now and see what these cards have to say. The light is changing rapidly. There's a storm that's just come over, but I think I can get this video done, hopefully, <laughs> before this live stream done, before um, it pelts down. All right, so you might think of this first card as the first half of the month and the second card as the second half of the month. I like to have a little, um, I like to have a little vision before I turn the card over. We're going to go with that one. It's very humid where I am at the moment. You think we're in the tropics. Uh, it's supposed to be semi, it's supposed to be temperate where I am. Warm, temperate, but yeah, it's hot and sticky. All right, let's go with this. So Scorpio, uh, for the month of January 2022, what do I see? Yeah, I've got a picture here. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, there's some bars, some like black vertical stripes in front of me. And then beyond that, there's some beautiful blue cool water. Uh, I feel like there's some sort of restriction hemming you in at the moment. Uh, it could be to do with the retrograding planets because they do slow things down. So Scorpio, it might be that you are impatient to get on with something. And, and with Mars, uh, there does tend to give impatience, especially around your finances because it's in the second house. Okay, but look, it's a temporary state of affair, these bars actually. In one way, they're an illusion. They're not even real. Maybe it's your thinking, something in your thinking that's not quite right. Um, it's like you could almost start something new, but your thinking is sort of putting it off a little bit, hesitating. Okay, it is about money. Uh, money's been coming up a lot lately. Uh, so this is the Ten of Pentacles. Are you thinking about selling your house or dealing in real estate in some way? 
This card suggests a long drawn out process, uh, like it doesn't happen in five minutes. It's not like you win the lottery or anything like that. This is something you put effort into and it's been going on for a while, but there's eventual success with this pro, uh, process and money comes out of it. You could have just finished a contract, you could have renovated your home, uh, it could be involved uh, with investments, something like that, but financially, it's a good move. All right, let's look at the second uh, half of the month for you, dear Scorpio, sensational Scorpio. All right, close my eyes. What do I see for the second half of the month? I'm in somebody's home and there's like just a walkway, a hall and then a door and it's very light outside. You want to get out of this situation. Um, it's a bit dark. I feel like the, this is a friend or somebody you know, but you're not really on the same page. Now my teeth on the, on the um, right upper jaw feel a bit strange this could be someone you know from school or or you knew somebody like this when you were much younger uh, because my teeth are being affected right around to the front yeah be careful who you associate with really uh, because their energy can draw you down and this house is sort of dark and a bit sort of dingy uh, and you're looking for more light you need light in your life the card that comes up is the world. This is fabulous. This means you can manifest your heart's desires. One foot in the planet means you can make things physically real. But the other part of you, or the vast majority of you, is out in spirit. So you're in touch with, you know, both realms, which is fabulous. An angel here holds up a, a gold piece of fabric, which is adorning this person, this woman. And that means that there's a high vibrations and the angels are supporting you. There's also an, uh, an eagle here. Freedom and liberation is at hand. And a scepter, which means sovereign sovereignty. Now, there's confusion on the internet, I notice, at the moment. People talking about sov being sovereign citizens and all of this. Um, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about in spirit. This, you know, once you're sovereign in yourself... Whatever lingo, language, whatever, you know, terminology people want to use, that's okay. Um, but it's not even an issue. When you're sovereign in yourself, you don't even have to get involved in such groups because you already know. It's like actually a step backwards. These are people that are trying to convince themselves that they're sovereign. Everybody is sovereign. It's already there in our souls. Okay, so you don't have to join groups or associating with people who are trying to convince themselves that they're already something that they are, if that makes sense. <laughs> I hope you, <laughs> hope you follow that. Let me know. <laughs> All right, so this is, um, this is an interesting time that we're all going through, isn't it? We'll talk about this to our grandchildren, no doubt, one day. All right, I'm going to look at your horoscope now in depth, so I'm just going to make this a bit bigger and move that up there like that um, please bear these two cards in mind because they'll probably come up uh, in the horoscope okay so you'll notice that most of the planets are on the bottom there's no see there's no planets under there okay that's why I put that card there to remind you but it doesn't um, obscure any planets so you'll see most of the planets are down here at the bottom of the chart in reality, this is the northern hemisphere, okay? It's counterintuitive to what you'd think. You'd think the northern hemisphere was up here, but it's not. It's down here. Okay, this is about your privacy. You need some privacy, solitude, time out away from people to manage everything that's going on inside you, okay? Uh, to deal with, you know, the awareness and the realisation of the energy that's deep down within you. Okay, so that's the first thing, and 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 now's the time to do it. Uh, the other thing I want to point out: Mercury retrograde, 14th of January to the 3rd of February, and Venus retrograde until the 29th of January, plus or minus a few days either side. Uh, that um, with two retrogrades here, Venus in your third house and Mercury also in your third house, do watch your communications. Mercury retrograde in the third house of communications means it's highly likely 
that there could be some miscommunications. Watch your technology. It's not a great time to travel at the moment. And with the full moon in your um, ninth house that suggests any travel could be turbulent, okay? There could be something coming up from your subconscious and the kookaburras are out there laughing as I'm saying this. I don't know if you heard that. Uh, but yeah, there's a couple of them. I've got a couple of families here and uh, they love to laugh. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, not a great time for travel this month. The other thing is uh, the black moon on the 31st. Uh, so I'll talk about that in your fourth house here of home and family brings a new beginning around your home or in your family. Maybe somebody falls pregnant uh, or your family grows in some way. Okay, so let's look at your horoscope in depth now. Uh, new moon in the third house on the second means your communications and interactions with others is likely to be uh, coloured by emotional considerations. Uh, you might seek emotional rapport or support from somebody, that's fine. Events from the past come up uh, and something happens now that could trigger those memories but it doesn't mean that it's the same situation exactly. 31st of December to the 25th of January, Mercury uh, moves into your fourth house and it's going to move back. So it's doing a little dance here between home and family and uh, also communications generally. Study, if you're studying, be cautious because uh, things could go awry when you're sending in your assignments. I've got one to send in myself. <laughs> uh, and so... Um, you might also find that um, things from your school days come up. Old school friends, you hear about, you hear some news about people that you used to know a long time ago. It becomes easier to speak about very personal, private matters, and it might be a good time to record some of your musings in a journal, perhaps. Third of January to the seventh of January, Venus sextiles Neptune. You're very receptive to beauty. You want to be surrounded by harmony, kindness and beautiful things and you feel tender towards other people. Maybe you can help them in some way and maybe they can help you. Okay, so and that sort of um, give and take kind of energy will make you very happy now. 8th of January to the 11th of January, Mercury sextiles Chiron. Uh, you can heal something with another person now and it brings relief uh, if you have any worries or concerns in your personal life, it's a great time to, you know, set about to fix the situation. Uh, there can be opportunities to heal and stabilise relationships with other people. And your sense of humour can assist you in talking your way out of a complicated or long-standing situation to get things back on track. The 5th of January to the 22nd of January sees Saturn sextiling Mars, bringing cooperation, harmony, especially at work if you're working uh, or if you're involved in any organisations, clubs or teams. Uh, teamwork is coordinated and is likely to be successful. Uh, if you have any business meetings, they're likely to run very smoothly. It's a time of um, self-discipline and control. You can concentrate more easily than usual and you can work longer hours without the usual stress or fatigue that accompanies prolonged effort. It's a good time to concentrate on tasks, uh, organising both your personal, and, uh, personal life and career. Uh, so that's a really helpful energy. The 17th of January sees a full moon in your ninth house up here. You may have the desire to go on a mini uh, vacation away from your usual uh, concerns uh, but it could be turbulent with as I mentioned before with Mercury and Venus retrograde. It is a great time to put things into perspective and have a, an overview of your life. Um, doing something that expands your horizons uh, is likely now. 8th of January to the 18th of February, Sun in your fourth house here brings your domestic affairs, family relationship and personal life to the forefront. Uh, do what you can to build trust in your family life uh, and this will help build a strong foundation in yourself. 
uh, it's a great time to uh, meditate and reflect. Your home is also very important to you. It's a good time to give your home some attention. 22nd, okay, and remember this one, this card here, Ten of Pentacles, if you're thinking about relocating or doing something financial with your home. Maybe taking in borders, for example, if you do that sort of thing. Uh, 22nd of January to the 5th of Mars. Mars in your third house here, so it moves from the house of finances into communications. You could communicate more directly and forcefully watch that because people don't have that same amount of energy and do watch for impatience and irritability uh, because mars sometimes brings that it's better to attack an intellectual problem or a task rather than your neighbors and friends yeah i find that <laughs> 22nd of january to the 25th of january mars sextiles the ascendant you're likely to be very clear and above board with other people and um, you can talk about your own desires and the differences between you and other people without offending them. Uh, you're likely to have more confidence and other people are inclined to follow your lead now. The 24th of January to the 14th of February, Mercury is retrograde in your third house here. So it goes into the fourth and then it comes back. And um, yeah, you're likely to have some sort of intellectual curiosity mental restlessness is very high and you may flip from one activity to another and spend a lot of time chatting and socializing but if you have anything important you probably need to put it in writing with mercury retrograde uh, normally there would be a lot of excursions uh, in your local area and errands and you're running around town uh, but do watch for things like traffic or um, road work. Something could slow you down or sort of put a dampener on your on your plans. Maybe it's just the weather, you know. Um, but it's like things don't go to plan. That's basically it. Uh, 28th of January to the 31st, Mercury conjuncts Pluto. Uh, you're looking to really probe deeply into a situation you don't want to accept just the simple shallow side of things you know so you want to look at mysteries unsolved riddles topics that people normally avoid or sweep under the carpet uh, just watch with this that you're because Pluto is involved you can sort of get very insistent on your point of view you could either do two things doing that you either utterly convince them or you you know repel them <laughs> so it depends how you sell your idea that might be particularly relevant if you're in sales for example from the 30th of january to the 2nd of february the black moon in the western americas in the fourth house okay so if you take canada the us mexico and south america and draw a line uh, from Chicago up and down right through all of those countries everything on the west has a black moon this brings a, a new beginning uh, at home you may feel like you want to stay at home have more privacy and security and especially with all of the planets down here in the northern hemisphere you need privacy and security uh, and it's a time of going within to replenish yourself in order to meet the challenges and stresses of your usual activities. Domestic and family matters are emphasised. And then on the 31st of January until the 2nd of February, Sun sextiles Mars. This is fabulous, gives you a, a shot of vitality. You have more courage and confidence than usual. You can accomplish a great deal of work especially if there's some physical effort involved. Maybe you want to do some gardening or something like that. If you're active in sports, you will be especially competitive and vigorous now. Your self-confidence is high. Okay, so that's your horoscope in depth. Now, I'm just going to close my eyes and see what I can see for you, sensational Scorpio for January 2022. Okay, so I see a crown on, on a woman's head. Uh, it's not like this. This is like Australian parrots that I'm wearing. This crown that I can actually see in spirit uh, is made of pearls. And so these are pearls of wisdom that you can speak because whether, you, whether you're into this stuff or not, 
energy is flowing down through your crown chakra and it's coming out your mouth spirit's going to tell you what to say uh, and you'll use your brain to say it in the best way that you can you know decipher it while you keep integrity of the message basically so you don't have to say the exact words if you're clear audience and you hear them yeah i reckon that helps but if you you know put it in your own language because sometimes when spirit comes in it, it's not what people want to hear and so you have to put it in a language that they can understand and hopefully accept now that doesn't mean that you compromise the message it's just that you deliver it in the best way that you possibly can okay now they're showing me a painting and somebody's putting the paints on directly out of the tube directly onto this canvas and this is you painting your life you are composing your life you're deciding what um what the picture is going to be what colors you're going to use and how you're going to apply them uh, and uh, so this, this is about you being in control of your life this month you've got more ability to do that more ability to decide what you want to do with your own life okay <laughs> i've got this presence this was in the last um pick a card this presence came in and it's here again and it's a woman this time it's a statue of liberty last time it was like um, a Norwegian goddess this time the Statue of Liberty is here and she's spitting out coins and um, I know this is to do something to do with the river Styx and paying the piper um, oh this is hurting my big toe <laughs> the nail of my big toe on my right foot uh, paying the piper the fee to go across uh, to the land of the dead for when people die so the message I got last time was and it was very clear she spoke to me and she said you don't have to choose to die you don't have to die and here it is again so Americans especially please um, you don't have to die you can take action so that you don't okay i don't know why this is coming in but that's she's here the statue of liberty is here the essence of the energy around freedom and liberation because that's what she stands for and now she's holding the torch up and she's going like this to me with the torch it's like the light listen to the light and the light is saying you have a choice okay so the ball is in your court take action don't sit back and do nothing take action okay all right, I've delivered the message. Uh, anything else for Sensational Scorpio? Oh, okay. Um, there's some people here with uh, bare feet on the on the earth, and they feel vulnerable, and they feel um, unsure and uncertain. But gradually, they're taking small steps, okay, towards something. If they've been in land. There's a river here to the right and they're following the river to the sea so the sea is the source of all life uh, I would say mm, be careful who you follow some people are going to take you backwards uh, if you listen to them other people are going to take you forwards only you can decide uh, which way you go and I would say listen to your body because your body is going to tell you which way you'll know if you feel when you're following somebody if you feel like a sense of heaviness in your body or darkness or something like that and you have to check in with your body it's not your head it's not what you think it's nothing to do with what you think uh, so you have to feel where you get the physical the physical sensations in your body uh, and if you feel something that's light and bubbly well you know you should do it then because it's light if you feel something that's heavy uh, and sort of dragging you down or it's dark you get the sensation of that darkness then maybe you shouldn't do it okay choice is yours okay um and now they show me an elephant they're saying um an elephant never forgets so you need to look back and remember things from the past uh, and maybe listen to your ancestors because they've probably been through something similar okay uh anything else for scorpio uh, just that we're turning a corner this year and the whole the whole everything that's happening in the world it's to get you to look within and find the light within yourself 
Okay, that's it, everybody. Thank you so much, uh, and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Not everyone does, but certainly a Happy New Year. Follow the light and turn the corner. Okay, thanks for that. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website, AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com, for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.